The brackets are out. This is what we've been waiting for, Brett Bakita. A lot of things to talk about, but let's start in my favorite division, as you know, Division Two. I've been waiting for this day in this division, well, since August for sure. And we're not really surprised by what we saw, but this district in Division Two, with Caledonia as the two seed, hosting the three seed Portage Northern, Portage Central the one seed, hosting the four seed Byron Center. I mean, can you imagine the Bulldogs eight and one, one at Forest Hill Central, won a PC OKY title, and they're the four seed? I really believe any of these teams can not only win this district but get at least to the state semifinal. I do think the Bulldogs at eight and one, they're peaking at the right time after that loss to Lowell when they were sky high the last two weeks. Jay, I mean, their defense has been outstanding, pitching shutouts against East Grand Rapids and Northview to just get a piece of the OKY with FHC. And you know how I love Mick Anderson and Portage. Central. They have their style of football. Portage Northern, I got a chance to see with my own eyes last year. Kurt Twitchell, I mean, he's got some athletes, some Division One athletes, and they are tough in space. And then you got Caledonia right there. And hey, let's not forget about they were the Division One runner up a year ago, moving down a division now, and they get to play a home game. All right, let's go to Division Three. This was a little bit more of a surprise. What would happen with Mount Pleasant? Snooze had Lowell going to Mount Pleasant. They are in the same district, but Forest Hill Central, Northview, and Mount Pleasant. So the Oilers are the one seed. Forest Hills Central went to the state championship game in Division II last year, 8-1, and one, PCOK White title. The Rangers are the two seed. They have a rematch with Lowell, and Northview goes north to the middle of the mitten. Yeah, I like it if you're Forest Hills Central. I think any coach would tell you, right, if you can get outside of the Grand Rapids area in teams that you play, not that it gets easier necessarily, but they don't know you, right? I think this draw for Tim Rogers and Forest Hill Central is a good one, even though they're not the number one seed. And obviously, they're the favorite. I mean, their defense has played lights out all year long, as we expected. Offense starting to click around a little bit right now. And, you know, we saw it last year. How many times their defense kind of set them up and then their offense came through? All right, let's go to Division 5. A lot of people probably want Grand Rapids Catholic Central and West Catholic to not have to play until Ford Field. I think the ceiling is what they got. They don't have to play until the regional. They're in separate districts. Grand Rapids Catholic Central goes south as Benton Harbor sneaks in as the last team. West Catholic now in a district with Belding as the two seed, Oak Ridge as the three, and Comstock Park as the four. You know, we thought it might be a district final. We also thought this could happen, even though the schools are so close. And, and good for them. I mean, the seasons that they've had, I mean, let's face it, now's the time we kind of, you know, circle the wagons and we root for our own teams, right, that we get a chance to cover. And so if they each could go through and win a district championship before they have to play, that's cool because they've had fantastic seasons. They are already OK conference champions in the respective divisions. And so that's a lot of fun. And I think that will be the regional that is set up. So much fun. I mean, this is this is what it's all about. We're excited for the drive to Fort Field. It'll all start this Friday. Brett, thanks for your time tonight. All right. Thanks, Jay.